All right, ladies and gentlemen, just got dropped here at uh, Rocky Gap, a couple tenths of a mile back. Currently climbing up Kelly's Knob. Um, we got about uh, about an 18 mile overnight hike ahead of us. Not too bad. Um, headed to Craig's Creek. We have the vehicle waiting for us. Uh, supposed to dip down into the 20s tonight, but the days are supposed to be gorgeous. About 50, 55. So yeah, here we go again on another awesome adventure, and once again blessed with awesome weather. See you at the top. All right, guys, got here to Kelly Knob. Very nice. Got a nice little jump there. Over here at the actual overlook. It's <laughs> another little smaller overlook over there, but nothing like this. This is stunning. Alright, we just left uh, Kelly Knob about, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes ago. We're heading down the mountain now towards Sinking Creek. Our original plan was to camp down near S uh, Sinking Creek. There's a couple of different camp spots down there that look pretty nice. But um, we're also thinking about maybe pushing on once we get there, depending on how we feel. and climbing up the next ridge to uh, get to Sarver Hollow Shelter. It was supposed to be a really, really nice shelter. That's another uh, three miles past where we intended to camp originally. But, yeah, like I said, we'll get down to Sinking Creek and we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, sun setting here around quarter after five. So we may have to do a little... Uh, a little hiking in dusk. We got here a little late. We didn't even get on the trail until one o'clock. Uh, about a three and a half hour ride in from from Fredericksburg, Virginia area. Yeah, that's the situation. We're going to be going down this mountain for quite a while until we get down to the valley, Sinking Creek, and uh, yeah, see you. See you later down the trail. And you're taking a short break, waiting for Timmy and Kaylee to catch back up. It's only about two more miles to our uh, first campsite that we might stay at. Another five miles to the shelter that we may push ahead to. It's just such a beautiful day today. It's about 60 degrees. Sunny, no clouds, very, very light breeze. Just another wonderful day to be hiking. ridge in front of us is uh, I think it's called Sinking Creek Mountain. 
that's the ridge we'll be climbing either here shortly or first thing in the morning we still haven't decided that yet but that's where we'll be headed we'll be heading up that ridge and then going north that direction Alright, looks like we're getting down here to Sinking Creek. Getting ready to cross over Route 42 here in a moment. But we gotta cross over the creek first. Looks like it probably stays pretty muggy here because they've got some little boardwalk going on. But yeah, we're still walking through pastures. It's been uh, an awesome section. I've really enjoyed these. These meadows we've been walking through have been beautiful. Oh, up on the bridge. And here is Sinking Creek. I definitely see some little fish down there swimming around maybe some little native trout yeah they say uh, this isn't really a great water source to draw from because of all the cows if it was an emergency you do what you have to do but I don't need any water anyway very very nice I just got down here to route 630 Crossing Sinking Creek again. It's only about a tenth of a mile to the campsite from here. Pretty nice, uh, nice little creek here. It's definitely good for swimming. Continues right over here. All right. Well, we decided not to camp at that camp spot down there. We had a hiker pass and recommend that we stay at the Keffer Oak, which is a 300-year-old oak tree. Um, See, so yeah, there's supposed to be a good tent spot there. So we just got water. I'm going to go ahead and camp there instead. It's only. About three more tenths of a mile, but just came across this old home site here. Old log cabin sitting up there on the hill. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna carry on to the Keffer Oak, so I'll see you when we get there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the end of our day, and we've come up to the very imposing Keffer Oak. I believe is the second oldest tree on the Appalachian Trail. It's uh, dated somewhere uh, just over 300 years old. This thing is uh, very, very big. Very impressive. Looks like there's some good camping down here too. I believe that's a cow down there. I went to the camping area. But anyway, that should be interesting. Yeah, the Keffer Oak. Amazing. I don't think I've ever seen a tree this big before. Maybe I'll get a shot of one of us standing in front of it to give you some perspective. This thing is absolutely massive. Stand in front of that thing, Timmy. 
That's how big this tree is. Ginormous in scientific terms. Scientifically, this is a ginormous tree. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. Got really, really cold last night. I stayed pretty comfortable inside the bag, but frost and everything all over the tent when I woke up, frost all over everything. Frost all over Timmy. Timmy died out here. <laughs> Timmy accidentally opened up one of his water bags and Got all wet and cold, so I think he spent most of the night out here by the fire. <laughs> it definitely got well down into the 20s last night, easily. <coughs> At least there's no wind. Sun's finally coming over the ridge. It's about quarter after eight. Should start warming up now. I come down to that valley wasn't like this. I don't know, it must have been a cold spot, cold sink or something right here. It's definitely very, very frosty. I said, nah, we ain't on no fucking film. <laughs> <laughs> Paparazzi. Man, what a gorgeous morning. So we finally crested the ridge of Sinking Creek Mountain. It was uh, quite a climb coming up from Sinking Creek down below there. It's about a thousand, little over a thousand feet in a mile, which is pretty steep. I didn't really make much use of switchbacks. But yeah, we finally got here to the top of the ridge. The rest of the day is going to be fairly easy walking. All right, so we've been walking along the ridge top for a little while now. We just got to a spot uh, known as Bruiser's Knob Cairns. There's a lot of uh, man-made rock piles through this stretch of trail. They've actually been about every 10 yards or so along the way. Uh, I think it's from farmers clearing land long ago. It's been a really nice walk up here along this ridge, very easy. Uh, terrain. Um, I've kicked up uh, a buck and two does within the last couple miles, so getting to see a little bit of wildlife. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's warming up quite a bit out here. I'd say it's probably about 50 degrees. Uh, feels beautiful. Another gorgeous day. Alright, still uh, walking along the crest of Sinking Creek Mountain. Uh, getting pretty close to the end though, towards the downhill, but we just came across this part of the trail. 
it's really really nice it goes across this open rock face here and uh, get outstanding views I believe that's southeast looking that way east looking that way this is Craig's Creek Valley below which is where we're parked down there in the bottom somewhere yeah what a what a great spot of the trail see the peaks of Otter way back there in the back I have come across another little rock face here where the trail skirts across it. Really enjoy these spots. This is only a couple of tents past the other spot, so pretty close together. Alright guys, we just got here to the Eastern Continental Divide. This is actually where the trail starts to finally come down from this ridge but I guess this ridge divides uh, the river drainage system everything on this side of the mountain goes to the Gulf of Mexico and everything on this side of the, ma the mountain goes to the Atlantic Ocean very cool so, yep getting ready to start this final downhill push uh, down to the valley to the car I right, just got here to the, the day shelter. Uh, finally got to the bottom of this mountain, Sinking Creek Mountain. <clears throat> Only about a mile and a half left in the day back to the vehicle. Stopped here, got some water. It's been the first water for quite a long stretch. Um, actually, the water here was just barely, barely trickling. But it was good enough to get some, some water to drink, so... Yeah, here at the Nade shelter. Mile and a half left. I'm gonna sit here and wait for Timmy and Kaylee. And then we'll probably see you back at the vehicle. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we finally got here down to the Craig's Creek parking lot. So the hike is over. Once again we had awesome weather throughout. Uh, definitely got cold last night, like I said, down probably around 20, but yesterday and today were absolutely beautiful. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the hike, enjoyed the video of the hike. Um, probably going out again uh, sometime next month in December. Um, so yeah, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe.